there, this is Fred, FR5ED, 5 is silent, here with a review of a uh, brand new beer to me. Uh, it's called Roscoe's Hop House Craft Ale, and it's an India Pale Ale. Um, this was brand new to the ABC liquor store near me yesterday. They had just gotten it in, uh, we're not familiar with it. And as I checked online at beeradvocate.com, only one person has reviewed it, and on ratebeer.com, there's nothing. So it's brand new. Uh, Roscoe's Hop House is uh, in Rochester, New York. This particular brew is 6.3 ABV. And there is a little uh, description here that says, pardon me while I squint at the bottle, hearkening back to old world brewing styles, Roscoe's Hop House uses the highest quality malts and hops to bring forth a smooth, bright flavored India Pale Ale with a nod to the past this nicely balanced true ale is brewed using traditional brewing methods and unique fl to create a unique flavor profile. The password to our best kept secret is found inside the bottle. Let's see what all that means. So let's pop it open. I've, I've actually done something I've not done before. I let it sit out for about 10 or 15 minutes so it wouldn't be, you know, 40 degrees out of the refrigerator. It'd be a little bit warmer. Uh, whoa! And we are getting a uh, a little uh, blow off here. Well, wow, let's just let that uh, do that for a while away from the computer keyboard. So, not sure what that's about, but we know it's going to have a decent head on it. Yeah, I'm dripping on my wrist pad trying to stay away from the keyboard. Okay, we'll get this all in here. All right, nice and clear, very clear. Just the carbonation showing. Um, it's got about a, a good one, one and a half finger head on it, kind of a, a loose head. You can tell it's going to dissipate quickly, and it already is. Um, but very clear. Uh, your, your very light, light copper, medium amber color. And I'm looking around for a napkin to wipe off. Uh, we'll get to that later. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a smell. Uh huh, very citrusy and floral. If there's any pine or Christmas tree in there, it's in the background because I'm getting mostly uh, pineapple and, and, and orange, honeydew, you know, fruit salad. A little bit of, tiny bit of yeasty and malt in there, but mostly it's about that wonderful citrusy, that, that, that wonderful aroma I'm after. Let's give it a taste. It's definitely an IPA, and yet it's different from so many of the ones I've had. A lot of similarities, a lot of differences. Okay, specifically, you can taste the malt here. That's nice. Uh, there is a balance because there is the bitterness there, not overpowering. It's just right to me. Interesting other flavors in there, too. I'm not pinpointing. But you do get a little bit of the citrus coming through, you know, so you've got the hop flavor, um, you know, the hop bitterness. Um, there is getting some of that on the back of the tongue, too. I'm trying to identify the other flavor in there, and I think it may be from the malt. But it's, uh, you know, a little bready, a little uh, biscuity. Seems very balanced. Um, this is pleasant. Uh, the other pleasant thing, it was only $7.99 for the six-pack, <laughs> uh, so the price was right. And, uh, excuse me, I'm going to take another sip of this. I mean, it wouldn't be at the top of my list. It sure beats uh, Red Hook Ale and, and Dundee and some of the other IPAs I would not get again. Um but I don't think it's up there with, uh, uh, you know, with uh, High Line from Cigar City or anything like that, uh, or any of the Southern Tiers. Uh, but it is good, you know. I, I would get this again. Might be a nice, good little session IPA while you're sitting and reading a book. Anyway, that's it. That's Fred FR5ED with today's review of a new one: Roscoe's Hop House Craft Ale India Pale Ale. That's it. Over and out. Have a great.